She's got a prop. Look, we got the same colour. Yeah, yeah. Identical. Oh. In this part, well, it's a marathon, is all I can say. Are you ready for that? <laughs> My only advice would be get yourself a massage between the, ma between the matinee and the evening. I so. like the idea of that. Yeah. <laughs> May I just try and explain to anybody who might be watching? Um, Jenna and I have known each other for 34, 35 years. When Jenna played the young me in Stephen Sondheim's Follies, that's where we met. And, uh, and we've known each other ever since, but because she played the young me, I sort of feel strangely maternal towards <laughs> her. And we've managed to get on all the time of the Well, years. we have, and you've given me, throughout my career, some of the best advice. I remember talking to you, because I was trying very hard to get pregnant, and I was not having any joy doing it. And then they asked me to do Sunday in the Park with George in New York, and I was really um and ahhing about it, because I was like, but I'm trying to get pregnant. And I remember at George Stiles' house, you said, you are going to New York. I went, yeah, but and you went, no, you will find a doctor in New York and you will get pregnant, but you will be doing the show in New York. And it was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. And I did find a doctor and I did get pregnant. So it, it all, everything goes back to you, Julie. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Was I very bossy? Yes. No, not at all. You weren't bossy. You, 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 it's like a fairy godmother. I imagine when you did it, there would, the women in the audience, especially, would, prop, would have been like, oh my goodness, they're discussing our inner life more. You know, the, the, the yeah, things that I, you might can, not I say. I can quote, perhaps, whether I should or shouldn't, is I did get a letter from someone once um, who actually had stayed in her seat crying oh gosh. with her son and she said, what a, what a wonderful evening I had. Uh, yes, I was upset, but my son and I went out for a drink afterwards and said things that we hadn't said to each other for years. So I wasn't expecting that, but it, it did deeply affect this woman. Do you think... Um, that, that a leading role like this is a rarity? Boy, it's, yeah, it is a rarity. This, uh, I mean, to give a woman that sort of part and then, and then you know, I, I'm just surprised it isn't performed more than it is. I am too. Because it's, too. it's a very weighty play. Yeah. Very, very interesting play. Um, yes, I'm surprised that it is. It's interesting though, because I think in musicals, they're, they're, maybe, maybe that's some, a reason why you and I have kind of gravitated towards musicals because they do put women front and centre a lot more in a musical. Yeah. Bizarrely, more than I think happens in plays. Yes. Yeah, and I don't know why that is. I don't know. I think the, the Sondheim and uh, Aikbourne are, are similar in, in their workmanship, their craftsmanship. Certainly. Um, I think Steve probably has a slightly more <laughs> jaundiced idea of life, <laughs> although I say with this play, or maybe that's just not true. <laughs> but they did like each other, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. They tried to work with each other once, but I think um, they were just such so, so strong entities, such so, so strong uh, ethos of, about writing that probably they weren't good writing partners. It's funny, I was looking at my emails the other day and um, oh, I still get emotional about Steve, isn't it silly? Um, and I found a lovely email from him. He'd gone to see, I did season's greetings at the National and it was like, hey, just to let you know, I came to see season's greetings because I, I love Aikbourne and I really enjoyed it and glad to see you doing well. And I thought, oh, that's nice. That's nice, I, lo I love the idea of Steve going, oh, one of Aikborn's plays on, I shall go and see it. Yeah. Did he see you do this, Steve? I, well, I don't know. I mean, as I say, Hal Prince came and they were great buddies, so they may have come together. But if it did, it didn't come round oh, afterwards. No. <laughs> so, let's pretend he didn't see it. Yes, he uh, couldn't <laughs> possibly have come. He was very busy <laughs> <laughs> casting you as Sally in Follies. That's what uh, he was that, doing. But that, that had been 
That had been on the books for a long while, <laughs> but it was just so happened. They're quite similar, aren't they, Sally? Sally, Sally... Yes, 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 they are. Yeah. I played Sally recently in... Did you? In Tangier, of all places. Tangier? Tangier. When you sang Too Many Mornings, I, I, felt, like, I felt like my heart had burst into a million pieces. And I still have that sound in my head of when you say, if you don't kiss me, Ben, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. It, it broke me <laughs> completely. Yeah. But when I played her recently, and it was only for one show, we rehearsed for a week, but we just did one show. No. And I remember thinking, crikey, she's a bit bonkers, isn't she, Sally? And, you know, there are similarities. There are similarities. I mean, she just loves, yeah. loves Oh, I think there are. And if one may say the word on television, I think menopause has an awful yeah. lot to do no, with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so that, in that, I think, yes, they are, they are alike. I think you, you're uncertain at that time in life. What upsets me, Julia, is that, is that and I understand, but I just wish more people got to see you on stage. It, you know, the, the strange thing, and it's the beauty of theatre, isn't it, that it's here and then it disappears. And of course, there are new generations that come up and they haven't, they never got the opportunity to see you on stage, oh. which I did. And they're etched and burned onto my memory in a really good way. Um, Cause you know, for me, you are the best theater actor I've ever seen. And when I am in doubt, and this is truth, I, 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 I do think, what would Julia do here? Oh. And we did the Sondheim concert a, a little while ago to, to commemorate Steve and just everything, everything you did had a lightness of touch, but was deeply funny, but truthful. Always, you're always, always truthful. And of course, when you did used to sing for us all in the theatre, that voice. Ooh. So I'd, I, oh yeah. Good. Jenna, I could sit here all day and talk about me. <laughs> um, I think we should talk about you as you're starring in this vehicle. Um, but thank you for what you've said. Um, I wish I'd seen you do this. I wish I'd seen you do this. I, you know, of course, you would have been 13 or something. <laughs> you perhaps with the same reaction maybe? that your daughter might yeah, have. What's, what's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you're very sweet. Thank you very much. Well, I do. I, I just think you're the master. And... Um, well, now, can I say what I, what I feel about you? Yes, of course, then. In respect, isn't it? I've just, well, I've just watched you all the time, and uh, I don't take to everybody. I'm quite known for being quite bitchy if I want to be. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, you, you've got something very special. Thank and you. I just want you to be happy with this part. Well, yeah. not unhappy. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah, I know that you can do it brilliantly, and uh, I just hope this might be a big turning point in not that you've not been doing very 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 well but I mean it might be you doing more of the things that you really want to do yeah because I have to say um, leading lady actresses um, uh, as you're getting older there aren't so many parts so it'd be very nice if you got very well established in the acting world which you should be and what well, you are god you've been to the RSC I've never been to the RSC it's a long time ago <laughs> but it I will enjoy it, of course I will. And I think as well, you know, you, there is that, I mean, I wonder if it would change, but I do, I am aware of the ticking clock. I keep saying to my other half, you know, I'm gonna grab these opportunities when I can, because it, before too long. No, oh, you're a baby, Gemma, you're an absolute baby. But you know what I mean, they do, I, it does do change. I know what you yeah, mean? of course. <laughs> yes, of course I do. No, I'm retired now, I don't want to do what I can't do well. Yeah. You know, so uh, yeah, do grab it and don't knock yourself sideways by thinking that you don't deserve it or that you, you, know, you can't manage it. I know all those thoughts. Yeah. I think most actors have those thoughts. Yeah. And I think that's what makes you a bit more special if you've got a bit of humility, which yeah. you have probably too much. 
And a bit of fear is always good, <laughs> isn't it? A bit of fear is always good. Lovely, Julie. <laughs> Here's the thing. Can you put that on? Here's the thing.